psychology is important for the teachers again why child psychology is important for the teachers See, kids spend kids will spend most of their time with mobile. <laughs> Very good. At home, okay. At home they spend their time with the mobile. Yes. They spend with teachers more. Very small kids, yes, with mobile I literally fully agree because when they are at home, we don't allow mobile is not school. So kids spend most of their time with their teachers after their parents. Yes. They spend uh, they spend with their parents after that with teachers only they spend, isn't it? Um, so school is called as a second home for this purpose. Okay. So the school is called as a second home. Why? Because I told you teachers act like parents. Mother. They mentor, they facilitate and guide them. Yes, fine. Uh, here, what is called as um, <coughs> here the school. One more. What is another reason that we call the school as a second home? Teachers are safe. Yes. Safe place. Okay. They can open up their teachers. Okay. They can spend more time with teachers. Okay. Since we, since it is a second home, we call teachers responsibility is also more over here, isn't it? Teachers, teachers play a huge role in the growth and the cognitive development of the children, isn't it? So school is called as a second home after all, not after all, it is after all. Why? Because where the children not only learn their subjects but they also learn how to carry themselves throughout their life since school is the first exposure for the kids providing them the right guidance is one of the core responsibility of the teachers did you understand each kid is different each kid is different in their perspective and also in their attitudes. Identifying the children in an effective manner and dealing with them carefully and also teacher have to be capable of working on with them. The child psychology for teachers uh, helps the teachers to comprehend and understand a child better. Child psychology can do more for a teacher where they not only uh, learn what is called as, uh, than improving their teaching and learning habits and teachers improving their learning and teaching habits but they also it will also help the teachers to this child psychology will help the teachers to motivate the students and also identify those children who are weak in studies identify those children who are uh, into who are, who are having the special abilities and talents did you understand why child psychology should be known for parents as well as teachers and how how it will help us to apply to every child tell me Cognitive health is a very essential part in overall child's development, isn't it? Main brain development has to be good for the children. So that only we inculcate many of the activities to be done because uh, writing on board, it is an old traditional method where it won't work out many times. Isn't it? So cognitive development is very important. If the IQ level is too less for the kids, by the help of the activities, the kid will learn soon. Because we have to complete our portions also. <coughs> Why parents and teachers had to know child psychology is um, kids spend most of their time with their parents as mm -hmm. otherwise with their teachers only. So it is better. It is not that all parents have to learn child psychology. They will be good at their uh, good at knowing their own children. 
What I mean to tell is the parents have to observe the children. Isn't it? Yes or no? Yes. So, what is called as uh, the parents should know and also the most of the time they spend with the children spend their time with parents otherwise with their teachers. So, teachers and the parents both are responsible in shaping the child's attitude and competence. Did you understand? See how the parents can uh, do for a child, help their child is parents have to create a safe environment at home. Why? Why? Because that that will help the children to build a strong, caring relationship. Otherwise, children will become weak. Did you understand? Parents, sorry, teachers will help the uh, what is called as children as well as the teenagers to build self-esteem and confidence. That can be done by the teacher. Self-esteem self -esteem and confidence can be given by the teacher. But to build the strong and caring relationship, it should be done with the part of the parents. Did you understand? Self so, self-esteem and, and confidence. Self-esteem and confidence. See, this child psychology will help the teachers to know the learning techniques help the teachers to learn the teaching techniques and also help the children to teach them uh, with the techniques with the technological techniques and also apply them to every child for that child psychology is used for teachers okay for parents it is used to build strong and caring relationship okay parents also should observe where the child is lagging behind and they have to okay. <coughs> Provide them a good guidance. That is also the work of the parents. Because in school only five or six of us children will be there. How much teacher can? The teacher will do. But the parents are also equally important as teachers. Okay.